Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Since self-isolation and social distancing is all the rage these days, and I'll be spending more time behind my desktop, now is the perfect time to upgrade my computer. I originally built this computer back in 2014, and it had an Intel Core i5-4440, a 4-core processor with no hyper-threading, which means only 4 threads, running at 3.1 GHz with 16 GB of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM. So I'm replacing it with this, an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. This is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU with a base speed of 3.6 GHz with a boost of up to 4.2 GHz. This is a massive improvement compared to the Core i5 I was running before. Because the CPU requires a different socket, it also means I must swap out the motherboard as well. I chose this Gigabyte motherboard, which is one of the more budget-friendly motherboards. And to go with the new motherboard, I also picked up 32 gigabytes of this G-Skill 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM. This is double the RAM I had before, which I'm sure I'll appreciate while video editing. Installation of these new CPUs are easy. You just need to lift the lever of the socket on the motherboard, find the corner of the CPU with a triangle, match it up to the corner of the socket with the triangle, and gently set the CPU into the socket. No force is necessary, it should just drop right in. Then, once you lower and lock the lever, the CPU installation is done. The Ryzen 5 comes with its own CPU cooler, so unscrew the bracket from the motherboard and screw in the cooler into the backplate mount. The cooler has thermal paste pre-applied, so you don't need to add your own. And once it's screwed in, you can plug in the fan and we are done with the CPU. Finally, we can install the RAM, making sure to insert it into the right slots for the dual channel RAM sticks. Now we can install it into the computer. First, unplug all of the cables from the current motherboard and remove the graphics card. Then we can unscrew the old motherboard from the case and remove it. Now add in the new I.O. shield to the back of the case and set the new motherboard in and screw it down. Now we can reattach all of the cables, making sure to reference the motherboard documentation to make sure they are all attached correctly. Then we can install the graphics card. This is an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti that I got back in December, a great upgrade from the GTX 960 that I had before. And finally, we can close up the case and plug all of the peripherals back in. And it's time for the best part, benchmarking. Cinebench R20 is a CPU rendering benchmark. My old Intel Core i5-4440 got a score of 898 points. The new Ryzen 3600 scored 3,252 points. Just look at the difference both those extra cores and the multi-threading makes. Incredible. Next, we can test real-world condition. I use Magic's Vegas 15 formerly Sony Vegas, to edit and render my videos. My last video, where I made the Animal Crossing Doom collectible, was a final length of 8 minutes and 50 seconds. When I rendered it in 1080p, the Core i5 finished in 13 minutes and 22 seconds, while the Ryzen 5 only took 5 minutes and 28 seconds. That is a substantial difference, but will it increase the number or quality of the videos that I make? Only time will tell. So, thank you all for joining me on this computer upgrade. It was definitely needed after six years. I hope everyone stays safe out there. If you need me, I'll be here putting these new CPU cores to work, solving protein molecular folding with folding at home. But that's a video for another time. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time.